might have a perception of home takeovers being, you know, a drug gang moving into the home and setting up shop and with guns and stuff. It's not, in my experience, it's, it's more subtle than that. It's an individual who might be invited into the home, uh, part of the person's social circle. Uh, they, they could have a relationship with the person, um, a boyfriend, partner type relationship. And then that person begins a, a subtle exploitation, eating their food, um, smoking their cigarettes, spending their money and not contributing to the household. And that can turn into a long-term situation. You know, from the outside, we might consider it a home takeover, but from the individual's perspective, it's more of a relationship. So um, I think oftentimes in home takeovers, it really depends on which side of the fence you're on. Oh, can I get some change, please? Change, please, some change. Oh my God. Hi. Thanks a lot. No, I haven't much luck today. No, it's been a bad day. How long have you been on the street? Oh, I don't know. I don't even know what day it is today, so it seems like forever. Is there something I can help you with? Like what? Uh, I live so by, you can come for a hot meal or a shower. You know what? I think I'm going to stay out here a little bit longer today, but thanks anyway. You sure? I appreciate it. Bye now. Bye. You know what? Wait a second. I'm going to come with you. Come on in. Make yourself comfortable. Okay, thanks. I'll be right back uh, with some change of clothes. Here's a change of clothes and the washroom is over there. Uh, thanks a lot. Hey, I'm having a friend come over later. Do you think you can go to your room or something? What do you plan in to do? <laughs> That's none of your business. I don't have a room, so just go, okay? And leave me to be private. Okay, I guess. Hi. Hey. That look good. Do you have something left for me? No, I didn't know what time you'd be home. Couldn't you have given them something? Couldn't you make something? I think I'm made of money. You're such a nag. One of the most important things is to have a relationship of trust with the individuals we're serving. So if an uh, something comes up, a situation where they feel uncomfortable or, or they feel that it's out of their control, they can approach us and ask for help. They, they know that we're there to serve their best interest, not to get them in trouble. Hi, Daniel. Hi, Bill. Good oh. to see you. You do. Come on in. Awesome. I am a friend. Oh, yeah? Yes. I'd like to meet her. Hey, come on. Thank you. Hi. Hey. I'm Phil. I'm Daniel's support worker. Nice yeah. to meet you. Hey. What's your name? Savannah, a friend. Yeah? Okay. Looks like uh, you've been staying here? Yeah, Daniel's been helping me out. He's okay. letting me sleep here. Okay, well, I hope things go well for you. I just want to go talk with Daniel in the kitchen for a couple minutes. Yeah, I'll see you later, man. Thank you. So, Daniel, how long has your friend been staying here for? For a couple of days now. Yeah. She's staying here every night? Yes. Okay, do you know how long she's going to be staying for, do you know? 
no, but she can stay. She was, she's been really good to oh. me. Okay, so do you have any concerns? Is she being kind to you, treating you well? Yes, very kind. Okay. Well, Daniel, thanks for letting me stop by. I'll be back in a few days, okay? Yeah. Take care yeah. of yourself. See you. Right, see you soon. Yeah. I'll start to get red flags when the individual is exhibiting behavior that I haven't seen or that's unusual. They're missing appointments when they're usually punctual. Um, they're not showering. They're perhaps wearing on-camp dirty clothing. Um, they're uh, being evasive. They're not wanting me to uh, go to their, to their home. Um, they're mentioning names of people who I haven't heard before. You know, my friend so-and-so is visiting from out of town or my cousin so-and-so is in town. And just certain things will start popping up in, in their, their life and their behavior that, that make me suspect that something's amiss at home. Hi, Daniel. It's good to see you. You do. You think I can come in? Sure, come right. in. Thank you. You know, unfortunately, your landlord has called me and he said there's been a lot of noise complaints, many people coming in and out of the apartment at all hours of the night. And now that I'm in here, I can see a lot of empty beer bottles and, you know, there's drugs on the table. And I know you don't do drugs. Do you think you can tell me what's going on? I don't do keep it down by all the as you bring your friends over, I tell her mm -hmm. she, she can, but she's still doing it. Do you still feel like this is a situation that you want to be in? Do you still feel safe? I love her, but I don't want nothing bad to happen to her. I, I don't know what to do. And that's admirable of you, right? But, you know, it's very important that you stay safe in this situation. Would you be willing to work on a plan with me to help maybe get her out of the apartment? Sure. Okay, perfect. Well, thank you for that, and that's what I'm here for, so I'll help you through that. Thanks for your help. It's my pleasure.